Good day and welcome to Coach Creek. Today we're going to show you guys some footage taken while Byron was helping a youngster called Sachin out. Predominantly this session or this drill was based around dropping the ball to the offside and the leg side off of the hip and being able to rotate, rotate strike when the team's in a dire situation. By dire situation we mean 40 for 4, something around that line. At the end of the day as a batsman you still need to be able to keep the scoreboard ticking there's no better way than doing that but annoy the bowler by just dropping it to the orphan leg side and scampering through for a single. Byron's predominantly going to be throwing underhanded balls around waist height on the offside and at his body. Sashin's choice to choose whether he wants to go back or forward, soft hands defended to the offside between that cover to point area, scamper through for the single there, or use his hands, elbow nice and high, drop it to the leg side, square the wicket and scamper through there. What do you think? Okay. If he's right-handed, that's going to be a bit tight, but I think there's a one there. That's a good ball, could leave. Like I said, we're only going to speak after the next round. Come on. Okay, I think there's a one there. Now, another thing, if you keep doing this, what happens to the field? The push harder or walking. No, they, they tend to sort of creep in. Yeah. Because the ball is getting grumpy because you run in singles. Yeah. Then if they're closer, what does it mean? Uh, it's easier to get a pass then. Yeah. Okay, so their margin for error becomes a lot less. Very well played. In two there. On this field, it's downhill that way, might even get four. I think you've got the, the distance on the ball perfect, just the line. You're probably getting one there. Just looking a bit tense in the crease. A bit very stiff. And as my hand's going back, I can really see which way you're trying to work. So you stand on middle. Yeah. What's your initial movement for this? For this entire draw? What do you think you're looking to do? Get on the back. Back foot, yeah. yes. Yeah. What else? Uh, play soft hands. Playing soft hands. Yeah. Okay, what else? Getting over the foot. Yes. What else? Uh, playing it behind the wicket. More on the leg side. Okay. Yeah. But you can play square as well. Remember, yeah. you're looking for the one. Yeah. Anything more is value. I'm on middle, back foot, but what am I doing with my left foot? You're on your... getting back and across. Okay, back and across, why? To open up the line. Okay, because you want to access your hips to the ball. Yeah. Remember, we're using hips as our point of reference here. Yeah. So if I move onto off, you're good enough off your legs, if it's full, to get the bat in the way. Yeah. And what's yeah. going to happen then? It's going to go there anyway. Yeah. You're going to get your value for free. Okay. But if I can work, because obviously the bowler is looking to it forced some channel, back of length hard, it's coming through hip height there, normally looking to leave off. Yeah. If you can work across nice and create the new line that you outside off, yeah. that opens up that, because now it's where he's bowling, then it will come to your back. From here, where's it going? Probably. Has to go there. Yeah. Has to go there. Okay. okay, I'm not going to the ball, the ball's coming to me, and I'm relaxed. Okay. So it's a bit of a dead bat, the ball must move the bat a bit. Okay. At the moment, you still? Sure. Yes. Okay. Then, but if it comes a bit straighter, it's naturally going to go there now, isn't it? But same thing, the ball's coming to me. Okay. If it's a little bit wider, then you can hit through it, and then you get your more value. Okay. Same thing though, if you've moved across here, what shot are you really good at? What do you always do when I throw a shot? Uh, I... You hit the pool well. Yeah. You've always hit the pool. There's no deep square now, is there? There's only a fine there. So if you move across here and he sees you move and he tries to change up by bouncing, what are you going to do? Get back to the soft header for four. Then you get more value. And if he tries to go wider, you just hit it past point for four. So his margin for error becomes a lot less if you turn his good ball away for one. Yes, look at that. It's a great shot. I think maybe a bit firm, but the line looks better. And your head was in a great position. Head of a 
mon fort. Okay, good leaf. It was a bit hard, wasn't it? Very good leaf. That's fine. Very short video, gents. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't hesitate to leave a like, maybe subscribe, and make sure that you watch all of our videos that can possibly help you take your cricket to the next step.